Hello guys, welcome back to another voxel sniper tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to be making a voxel tree. To start off, I use a brush size of 3 and I'm using diamond blocks, just like with our world edit tree, but this time I'm doing a slightly curvier trunk. I reduce my brush size to 2 and quickly just sketch out some roots, make the trunk a little thicker in spots, get some quick little branches in, thin out the top a little bit, just generally making some quick branch shapes. Nothing. I'm not being too picky about this, you could say. I'm changing my brush size even all the way down to 1 for some of these branches. I really like the fact that Voxel has a brush size of 1, but it's really tiny, it's really easy to work with. I could also be using the line brush, but I find the ball brush to be perfectly fine for what I'm using it for. You can see I'm using branches, putting them all over the place, and I've really got a nice curve going in this trunk, so I'm going to work the branches and the roots around this curve and really give the tree a nice effect. I'm using the balls to thicken the trunk quite a bit, because I it's better to have more blocks than too little blocks, because when you're smoothing it's way easier to just break the blocks than it is to have to break and place and make sure you're not making everything too thin, so the best bet is to always place too much rather than too little. Once I have my roots, trunk, and the base branches just the way that I want them, I start thinking about how I'm going to smooth this. And the first thing I do when doing this is actually using the blend ball. And you do not want to overuse this. I use about a size of 10 and I just click 4 or 5 times on the thickest part of the trunk. Just enough to get a little bit of a smooth to help out with my smoothing, but I don't want to do it towards the roots or the branches because it will mess it up because they're too thin. Now I start smoothing my roots as well as my branches and my trunk, and I'm going to smooth this all together. But for the roots, the main difference between this tutorial and the one I did before is this tree is a little bit more advanced. So I'm having a lot more than just four simple roots. These, these roots are kind of all over the place and they're splayed along the ground and they're curvy and they're going in different directions and they're pretty crazy looking but it really gives the tree a good effect and I think if I was pasting this into the earth into terraforming I would probably want to cover up these roots a little bit with the dirt so it make it look like a real tree like the roots are going into the ground. And I really like giving it this effect. You can see I'm working those roots up into the tree trunk and working it, blending it all together. And this really gives the tree a nice effect. I don't want those roots to look like they're stuck on. After this, I smooth out a little bit of the trunk. I don't have to touch it too much though because we did blend ball it. And then I can begin on my first branch. Now for the branches, I'm using sort of the same technique as with the roots. I want to go a little bit crazy. So trees have a lot of branches. So those base ones that I marked in, those are the thicker parts of the branch. But up at the end, I can do all these little twigs and sticks coming out of it. And they kind of go everywhere. And they're completely random. And that's exactly how I want them to be. I do this with every branch, making them all random in different directions. I want them going up and some going down. And just a lot of branches going everywhere. And this really gives a nice effect to your tree because you're going to be able to see these branches through the leaves. And it really helps you when you're shaping your leaves to be able to have these branches going out. As I'm doing this, you can see every now and then I fly all the way around the tree and then I'll like touch a little spot on the trunk or maybe a little piece of root, or I'll start on another branch. And that's because as I'm looking around, I'm doing basically what the camera is right now. I'm getting an angle of all sides of the tree, so I want it to all look good together from every angle. So I need to check my angles as I'm doing these branches, because it's really easy to make your branches way too small or way too big. So you want to have a good balance. So as you're building, I recommend you really fly out, look at your build as you're doing it. There's no rush. I did this tree in about 30 minutes. So there's really no rush for you guys to be doing this super fast, especially if it's your first one. I've kind of streamlined the process at this point, but I don't expect you guys to be able to do that. Once I have all of my branches sorted out, I'm going to begin coloring the tree. So with this, I'm using another ball command, but of course I'm going to want to do replacing. So I replace my diamond with the dark oak. And I think the dark oak gives it a really nice effect because the dark oak is kind of dull. It doesn't have the same reds as the spruce, so it's really, really nice overall. It gives a really good effect. You can see I'm touching up the roots a little bit as I'm going along. 
And now I'm finally going to color it, like I said. And towards the end, I do end up giving this a little bit of texture with some different blocks in there, but I don't do it at the start because I just want to get an idea for what my tree is going to look like. And you can see it really sort of looks a lot more like a tree when it has the color on it, which is kind of funny to say because it was definitely a tree shape before, but this really brings it together. Now I'm going to start on my leaves. So for the leaves, I'm using the splatter ball, the brush size of three, and I'm just kind of putting them on the tips of each branch and then connecting them together. I don't want to do too many leaves and I don't want to make them mushroom shape. I want to space these leaves out as much as possible. We want to get a lot of air blocks in there. We want it to look like birds could fly right through this tree or we could have a bird nest in there. Like, there's room to live in this tree. Trees are living things and it's a really important thing to remember when you're doing this. So as I'm getting my little balls of leaves on each branch, I'm not connecting them together too much. Once I have them on each branch, then I can start connecting them together and building them up kind of slowly. But I want to get them around on each branch and then connect the dots, so to say. That makes it a little bit easier on me. I do make the leaves go a lot higher because I end up doing them flat at first. And although you don't want it to be perfectly round, you also don't want it to be too flat. So we go over the top here, you'll see I left a lot of big holes in the canopy of that tree and it allows a lot of sunlight to come through and it just it looks so good if you've got a bunch of these in a forest it really brings the look together Once I have my leaves all in place here, I'm going to be using the Replace Splatter Brush again to get some glass in through there and then just add some different color variation. I really like the effect that it gives. I think it works out really well in the end. I also do the same technique on the trunk. I just add in some soul sand and some dark oak planks just to give some differences in texture, get some interest in there. And I think it helps give the tree a, quite a lot of life because tree bark is normally not all one color. Go outside and look at a tree if you don't believe me. Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. See you in the next video. Bye!